Hello and welcome back, it's Puzzle Time with Sudoku Sleuth and today we're going to be playing Exile. Now, I mean, if you are being exiled, not I'm sure anybody here is, um, I can imagine that, you know, you're some kind of aristocrat, you've been posted in some sort of faraway castle, away from eyes, impossible to get to, and you can see there's like the land bridge that used to connect it to the rest of the world is almost like disconnected as well. Now, we're back to James Sinclair's fantastic puzzles from Artisanal Sudoku once again. So they typically come out on Monday and you've often seen that on Tuesday I end up featuring them and playing them. Now, uh, there's usually three that are available for free if you subscribe. And the first one tends to be highly approachable as we've seen a few times in the past. Now, don't worry if it is indeed highly approachable. It sort of takes me... I don't know what would be an appropriate time. If it takes me less than 10 minutes, I'll probably play the second one as well. But if it does take me, you know, just a hair over 10 minutes, what I'm going to do is just stick with the one rather than the two puzzles for today. Uh, that's probably enough of an introduction. Let's take a look at today's puzzle and rule sets from with Exile by James Sinclair and the following set of rules. First one, normal Sudoku rules apply. Place the digits one to nine once each in every row in every column, and in every 3x3 three three box. And it does say all clues are standard, which are thermometers, so digits on a thermometer increase from the bulb end. So if you imagine that this cell here is a 2, this would have to be 3 or higher. Let's go with 3. You don't have to have the same step every time. So here is a, you know, going up in 1, the next one could go up in 2. You know, it could be any random digit that in terms of number of steps. What I cannot do at any point is go for a lower digit than one that's preceded the thermometer. It is no longer strictly increasing as you go further away from the bulb end. Then we have digits in cells separated by an X must sum up to 10. So these two cells must sum up to 10. If that's a 2, this would have to be an 8 so that they do sum up to 10. So um, I'm going to say that is it, really. That's all the rules we have for today. So fairly straightforward set of rules. As always, if you want to play, link will be in the description down below for you to do so. And uh, with that said, I'm going to restart the clock and see how I get on. So I'm observing that kind of box one, box seven, you can see that the thermo box seven in particular, you can see that this thermometer cannot have the digits one or nine on it. One can never be halfway up a thermometer, otherwise that would be a zero. Uh, 9 can never be halfway up a thermometer, otherwise this would be 10, that would be 11. So what are 9 are not in any of these cells? And in fact, 8 is not here, because that would be 9, that would be 10. Just that I've got two more digits that are above it. So these cells do not contain 1, 8, or 9. Now, I'd be very tempted to say that this means that this is 1, 9, but I think it could absolutely be 2, 8, and this is 1, 9. So... I don't actually know that for certain. I'm just going to corner pencil mark the 1, 8, and 9 for now. You can repeat the same trick in box 1, this time not with the 1, but certainly with the 9 cannot be in any of these cells. The 9 has to be in one of these two. That means 9 has to be in one of these two cells because essentially you can see that they're lining up in columns 2 and 3 over here. So 9 can't be in any of these cells in box 4. They have to be in these two cells. In fact, that could be a 9 as well. The fact that there isn't a 9 in these two makes this very interesting. Because I'm now thinking that the maximum here is a 6 and then 7 and 8. Given I can't have 9 in here. Intuitively, that doesn't feel right. But in the logic, because we've already accepted that 1, 8 and 9 are not here. And if this, yeah, seven and eight, that would make this, yeah, that, that works. That would be one, seven, eight, nine. Um, essentially, that would have to be six. That would have to be seven. That would have to be eight. And obviously, this is the only two cells that can add up to nine, so to 10, excuse me, are one and nine. And therefore, that is all forced. And this is seven, eight. I think that works. Then that would have to be five, four, three, two, and one to make the rest of this all work. That one gives me nine, gives me one. Excellent. That 9 removes this 9. That's a 9. This is not 7, 8, or 9. You can see 10s um, always have to have a high digit from 6, 7, 8, 9, and then a low digit with 1, 2, 3, 4. 
this is a 4-6 pair because, I mean, like I said, I've used all the other high digits. Then these two cells are 2 and 5. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, it still works here. And then 5, 6, 7, 8 still works there. So I'm not forced by any of this. And obviously a 2 still works here with a 1 there. That's also fine. Okay, not what I was expecting. So eights and sevens have to be here. I'm just going to, again, corner pencil mark them for now. Let me just think about this. Can't have a one. One has to be in these two cells, and it can't be halfway up the thermometer. So that's the one, which I think, I mean, certainly clears the road for this being a two, but doesn't stop this from being a two and this being a five. So we've got seven and eight, essentially. Then I have two more digits, three and four, six. Now, four and six are not there. So the second four, six is in here. Come back to that in a second. And this is now entirely forced. It has to be three, seven, and eight to complete box one, which makes this the two, what is between three and one. And this has to be a five, and this has to be a six, and that's a four, that's a six, lovely. Now, what is bigger than 8 on a thermometer can only be a 9. And to complete this column, it's 1, 2. And to complete this column, it looks like it's 3, 4, 5. Excellent. 5, 6, not 7. So this is 8, 9 to fit it all in. Again, we've got the 1, 2, 3. So that's all the low digits except for 4, which means that this is 4, 6. 4 can't be here. That would have to be 3, 2, 1, and 0. So that is 6. That is 4. Uh, this is not 1, 2, 3, or 4, and it's lower than 6. That can only be 5. And I think I have a degree of freedom in here. So 1, 2, it's not 1. We'll come back to that in a second. 3, 4, etc. So yeah, 1 degree of freedom. That is not 1 because its partner here can't be a 9. So that forces this entire setup. 2, 3, 4. That is not a 2. Not helpful. Uh, where do we go from here? So 8, 9 is not this cell. This is 8, 9. In fact, we know how to resolve it. That's 9. That's 8. And this is the last digit, which is a 7. Then we've got three more cells that are, well, the 3 is not in any of these. So that's the 3. This is 1, 2. That's not a 2. That's 1. That's 2. These are known. They are 6, 7, I think. And this is 1, 2, and 5. That is not a 1. Right, this is not 1, 9, not 4, 6, and it can't be 2, 8. So this can only be 3, 7. And we still have one more gigantic thermometer that is not starting at 1, 2, or 3. So I'm wondering, or 4 actually for that matter, so I'm fairly sure this is going to be 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and it's entirely forced. 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. And the 8 and 9 are not helping. The 7 is 8 and 7. The 3, 7 pair, not, not really helping. The 8, well, this in here. Interesting. 2 and 3, not there. 2 and 3, not here. Just 2 and 3, 2 and 3. So these cells are 2 and 3, and that 2 gives me 3 and 2. 1 can't be now down here, has to be in there, as is the 8. And actually, I can resolve the 8 now. That's 8, that's 1. The 9 can't be here. That's the 9, and this is the 4. These two cells, well, we have restricted them quite a bit. That has to be the 8, and this is now the 2. That is not a 2. These three cells, they're not 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. They are 6, 7, and 9. 9s are resolvable. And the 6 uh, tells me that this is the 7, and this is the 6. Right. These are 1, 2, 5s to complete the column as a triple with a 3, 7. That is not 1 or 2. So that's 5, another 1, 2, and not a 5. This 2 doesn't help me. So I need another 1, 5, and something else. And this is not the 1 or 5. This is the 1 or 5, and this is something that I should just be able to write in. It's a 4, and to complete this box, it's a 3. Uh, no resolution so far. 1, 2 pair, just keeping a note of that. So we need another 2, 5, and then we need 4 and 6. Interesting. Okay, I'm just going to have a look elsewhere. 
one, two, three, four, five. We need six and seven. That seven gives me seven and six. That seven has given me three and seven. That is not a three. It's not very much. This is not six or seven. In fact, the sevens now, that gives me six and seven. These are, I need a three, which can only be in here. That's not a three, that's a three. And this is five, I'm gonna say. Four and five, lovely. One, two pair, let's take a look at the rows. We need a nine, which can't be inside this box. So that's the nine. And then we need a four. We need another one, two, and well, I mean, let's take a look at what's going on here. We need a one and a four. That's four, that's one, that's two, that's one, that's two. That's one, that's five, that's one, that's two. I need a five. And then if I've not made any mistakes, six for the finish. Uh, so I did say, um, if I do it in under 10 minutes, we will do a second puzzle. So I'm just gonna pause and I'll be right back as I load up the other puzzle. Um, back in five seconds for you guys. Right, so that was a couple of seconds for you guys, but it's almost like an hour for me. Uh, apologies, got distracted with something, so let me see if I can get back into the swing of things. We are now playing eye level. And uh, we've got the following rules. So it's got normal Sudoku rules, don't need to cover that, already covered. Killer cages, and then white crop key dots. So. Killer cages. The sum of the digits inside each cage is equal to the small number in the top left corner if given, and digits cannot repeat within a cage. So these two cells have to add up to 10. If that's a 2, this would have to be an 8, for example. Now, this particular cage doesn't have a total, but no repeats still apply. So these cells under normal Sudoku could actually be the same because they're in different rows, columns, and boxes, but not as part of this cage. Then we have, of course, white crop key dots. So digits in cells separated by a white dot are consecutive. So if this is a two, this would have to be one or three. So fairly straightforward set of rules. And uh, we can definitely see the I. Not sure if that's the level. As always, link will be down below. And uh, with that said, I'm going to restart the clock and see how I got on. And I can see... 17 cages, so these are 8, 9. 16 cages, this is 7, 9, which obviously gives me an 8 here and a 9 there. The 8, 9 will also give me a 7 here and a 9 there, so we've got a few digits. 6 is only 1, 5 or 2, 4, I don't know which one it is. 8, not sure. Yeah, so this was intriguing. How many cells is that? 3, 6, 7, 8, 9. So this is the digits 1 to 9 once each given we've got nine cells. Same in this particular one. Interesting. Here's something. Where is nine in this cage? Well, it's not in these four. It's not in these two. Well, I mean the row. So nine has to be in one of these two cells, which gives me eight and nine. Whoops, and nine. Now, eight is not here. Eight is not there. 8 has to be in here. Interesting. 8 and 9 have to be down here. And in fact, the 12th cage is now interesting because it's not 8, it's not 9. So this is force. This is 7, 5. That's a 7. That's the 5 because of this 7. That can't be 8 or 9 on a consecutive digit. So that is 8 or 9. And this is 4 or 6. 5 is now looking at the 6, so this has to be 2, 4. Excellent. Still don't know what this is. Have we got something similar going on here if I have paid attention? Maybe. There's a kind of like a bit of symmetry going on diagonally here. You can see that there's a lot of the same construction. So chances are if I pay a bit of attention, we'll get something very similar. No eights, no eights, no eights. Eight can be in one of three cells, however. That can't be an eight because it can't be seven or nine. So eight is in one of these two cells. It's not quite the same, but I don't know why is it not the same. Yeah, because I don't have the same nine, seven in here. Interesting. So I can rule out this being nine, three. 
I can't rule it out being 8, 4. And obviously, I can't rule it out being 5, 7. Now, this cell can absolutely be 8 because I can even tuck a 9 in here. So very different how this one is playing. 7 and 5, this is, this is why this cage exists. Very clever. 5 and 7, not in any of these cells. They have to be... Yes, it's a 1 to 9 cage. So 5 and 7 have to be in one of these cells because they're not in any of these. Therefore, it removes the 5, 7 option and gives me 8 and 4. That's not an 8. That is an 8. That makes this 7 or 9. And it's not 7. So that is 9. Fantastic. Very clever puzzle once again. 4, 8, 9. None of these cells. That makes 4, 8, and 9 all in here. Obviously, this is not 8 or 9. In fact, none of these are 8s. This is not a 9. It doesn't matter. The 4, 8, 9, the 4 gives me a 6 in here. Okay, sounds like we're going to basically keep rotating around this, we'll call it eye level, um, back and forth as we kind of place digits. Very interesting sort of kind of style, I think. The 6, for example, now, none of these cells, it's got to be in here. So now I've got three of the four digits, three of the four digits as well. And it makes these two cells fairly interesting. Why is that? Because this cell is not 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, or 9. This is 1, 2, 3, and it's the same deduction here. And I'm wondering if this is a 1, 2, 3 triple. Because, yeah, that has to be 1, 2, 3, because it's, again, not 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, or 9. So these are 1, 2, 3, these are 1, 2, 3, that's a 1, 2, 3 triple. This is a very clever piece of work here from uh, 6, not these two cells, and that's 6. These two cells are now known, they are 1 and 3. These two are also known, they are 2 and 4. Can I do something similar around here? Yeah, this these two not being like a, a large cage that's forced. So like I'm wondering if there's any way I can force that 9 and 10 cage. Maybe. Let me think about this. So 8 and 9 are gone. So if this is 3, 7, what happens? Well, I can still comfortably do 2, 6 and... Well, not 3, 5 and obviously not 1, 7. So the other option is 4, 6. What would happen here? Well, 2, 6 is gone, but 1, 7 works and 3, 5 works. So that doesn't do anything. I, I'm just, you know, there's no reason why to look at this right now. It's just my life would be a lot easier if I actually have a couple of digits in here. So I'm just exploring the 9 cage. Not very interesting at this point, is it? 7 is none of these. 7 is not here. Seven sadly can be there, so I can't even force it in here. Can't force what's in here either. Um, we can probably do something here, though. So what am I missing? A one, three, five, and six. And the six is not here. This is six, eight. Wakey, wakey. And this is one, three, five. This is clearly an even digit that is two or four connected to the odd digit, and it's not six. In fact, we know the rest of this. This is 2, 4, I'm going to say 7. And we know the rest of this as well. It's 1, 3, 5. Right, if this is 1, that's 7. If this is 3, that's 5. And if this is 5, that's 3, all of which are allowed. It doesn't help me with the 10 cage either. Right, 6 and 8. This is not 6 or 8. Or 4. Or the 4. Come on, sleuth. And that was never 3, that was 4, 7. And that is no longer a 5 next to the 2. Maybe the white crop dots are meant to help me a bit more than I'm using. 1, 3, 5, particularly this one. Three cells that are consecutive. And we also have this 1, 2, 3 that, to be fair, we haven't really used. Interesting. If this is 2... No. Like, I'm looking at these and wondering, that looks very tight. 
And if I make this two, I've broken the puzzle because essentially I can only be connected to one three, one three, and again, same challenge. So that can only be a four. That can't be a one as a result. That is a two. Not sure I can get more out of it. I think that can be three. Four, three, one, two. Yeah. So the five, six, so hang on. So this cell, this one, two, three is in here. And then this cell, this one, two, three is in there. So we actually know that this is four, eight, nine. And we actually know that this is five, six, seven. Not really enough, but useful. Still haven't figured out this six cage. And it still can be two, four or one, five. This one is also, again, an even digit two or four. Again, it's not a six. Hmm. Don't know, don't know, don't know. Right, I'm kind of running out of ideas, so I'm going to think about these three cells for a second. So... It doesn't include a one, it doesn't include a two because of this. Obviously, if there's a two anywhere on here, I will need to include a... No, it can include a two. I could do two, three, four, and this could be one. All right, so two, three, four is allowed. And actually, the fact that these will include two digits of five, six, and seven, I'm starting to think there is maybe a bit of a limit here, if I think carefully about it. Nine is in one of these two cells and clearly can't be in the middle. So that's a nine. That's not a nine. Where am I going with this? So we said two, three, four is allowed. What's the maximum I can fit here, bearing in mind that I can't have nine. Technically, I could have eight. But eight, yeah, eight can work. I could do eight, seven, and six, I believe, in that order because the eight of here. So eight, seven, six, and two, three, four. And then probably in between, there's a few things I can do. I can even do seven, six, and then the five. No, seven, six doesn't work. Remember, two of these three digits are in here, the five, six, seven. And seven and six would remove too many. Six and five, same deal. Five and lower works. So I could do five, four, three. And presumably that would work in any direction. So the four in here and then the three and five on the edges. Um, why can't that be seven? What would happen here? Because it can't be eight, nine. And if I do seven, six, five, I've broken this. Okay. So this, this being limited to two, three, five, and six is correct. And I think I've basically exhausted all the other options at this point. Not very helpful. Hmm. 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 You can see it was never a two. And that can't be a three because that can't be two or four. So that's not a three. And if that's not a three, it doesn't look like the four could be here anymore. So three, four, five in either direction or six, seven, eight seems to be my entire set of options. Interesting. More limited than it may come across. All right, I'm... I'm I'm going to move on and just see if I can think something else. Maybe a bit more Sudoku that I'm not doing. Four is not here. Four has to be part of these four cells. So remember, this box is including one to nine. By four not being there, four not being there is in here, which lines up with the T4 which removes the four. The four has to be essentially in one of these two cells in box two. And by that not being a four, this is seven. And it can't be six, eight in that direction. It has to be six, eight. 
That seems... I mean, we're going to find out fairly quickly if I've reasoned correctly about this. And this is not a 7. So this is 1, 2, 3 with 5, 6. That's the only place for a 7. I don't know if I wanted to pencil mark that, but it's essentially one of the 1, 2, 3s plus 5 and 6. That is not a 6. 6 is now none of these cells because it's inside it and it can't be inside the 6 cage. That is a 6. That is a 3. 3 in here is huge because it's not 3, 7. It's not 2, 8. It's not 1, 9. That can only be 4, 6, which gives me a 7, a 4. The 4 gives me a 2, which removes a 5. That doesn't resolve the 8 cage. Of course not. The 3 is not there. 7 is now in here. Am I going to have to think about this cage again? Oh, 4 obviously gives me 1 and 5, if I paid attention. Therefore, that's 3, that's 1, that's 5. And then these digits are surely a bit more known now, and not 1 or 5, it's 2, 6. So 2, 4, 6 is what's left in here. And that's not 6. 2, 4, 6 means none of these are 2, and none of these are 6. So I have 1 of 1, 3, and the 5. And that's not the 5. That's the 5. This is a 1, 3. 1, 3 pair gives me, is that 2, 4, 7, triple? Yes, the 2 is not here. Technically, the 2 is somewhere in here. So what is, let, let me just clean this up. This is 2, 4, 7, and something else. And that something else is not 5. We've got 1, 3. Yep, 3, and the 3 is not. This side is here, and this is not a 7. Yeah, that is correct. And then 2, 3, 4, 7, 1, 5, and presumably this is 1, 5, 9. But I don't know which one it is from this triple. Okay. There's definitely a 9. 3, remove that 3, remove that 5. 1, 3 pair gave me a 5. This is now just a... 1, 9 pair, and therefore this is another 5, 7 to complete the box. An unresolved 5, 7, of course, an unresolved 1, 3 for now. And then another 1, 3, 5, 7, okay. And just a known digit in here, a... not a 7. I've broken something. Oh, because a 7, yep, 5, 7, 3, 1... 7, right, now they are different. They are 5 and something else. 5, 3, 5 pair. Okay. And 1, 2 pair. Okay. Sometimes I'm just, like, confusing myself. Not a 2, not a 2. 5 gave me 3, which gave me 1, gave me 3, not 1 or 3, it's a 2. That's a 1, 3 pair, that doesn't give me any more. This is not 4 or 2, it's a 6, not 6. 2, 4 pair that are still not resolved, 1, 3 pair still not resolved. This is kind of as good as it's going to get at the moment. I haven't really thought about this cage for a while, so I probably should. So, I'm missing a 2 in this slot. And because of this 2 and this 2, that's the 2. And these are 4, 8, 9. That's not an 8. And this is 4 or 8, so one of these is a 9. Can I resolve them? No. 3 gave me 4. 7, 2, 3. 4 is not here, if I can type, don't know what this is, oh the 5 gave me 1, which gave me 9, which gave me 1, which gave me 5, 8, 4, right, we're on the home stretch now, unless I messed up this triple earlier, because I don't really think I've exhausted, didn't really 
exhaustively think about it in my view. One, two, three, four. I need a four here, a seven there. Eight and nine still not resolved. Four gave me two and four. Two gave me one and two. Three and one. Three and one. Is the three helping me? Yeah, five and three. The eight and nine are still there. The two and four are resolved. That's four. That's two. One, two, three, four. I need five, six, eight, and nine. So six not there. Six is not here. That's six. That's eight or nine. It's not an eight. That's nine. Eight, nine, eight. And if I've not made any mistakes, five for the finish. It's a beautiful puzzle from James Sinclair again. Really loved. It's a very clever puzzle. Just kind of spotting enough to use the cage to jump back and forth between them. Fantastic. Hope you guys enjoyed it as well as the video. And I'll see you back soon. Bye bye for now. Oh, I'll press the actual button. See you back soon. Bye bye for now. Oh, come on. Technology these days. Turns out it's my fault. See you back soon. Bye-bye for now.